I do not know when I made my last HBAR video, but it is just crashing through these targets. Whew. It is going to go 95% now. That's why I have that box there. It looked like it wouldn't, right? That's why I kind of had this and this. 25% chance it only hits there. 60% chance it at least hits there, right? That's what this is from. Way months and months and months ago. But it is going to do the 95, just like everything else will besides Ethereum and Bitcoin. And maybe Cardano. Cardano might only go down 94. Yeah, so this is where it's going, exactly. Will it go straight there? Eh, probably not. But it's going to hit it. And if you don't think so, you're going to be wrong. It's actually a better guess to say it'll go below here than it is to say it won't hit it. Because it's obviously going to hit It's a question of, will it hold price? But yeah, it's going to, yeah, 95 target. And, you know, I've been, since, what was it? December of 2021, I've been saying, all coins will all lose 95% of their value. On this one, though, when I was doing all that, I said, it might only go down 90. I said, maybe. So let's draw this one for good measure, right? Yeah, it's just it's just going to do what everything else does. And this could be one hell of a buy. But it's going to give up in its entire bull run, just like almost everything else. And if it does that, if it gives up the whole bull run, here's the kicker, though. Knowing that only 15 to maybe 20% of all crypto X bull run only 15 to 20% will even touch its previous all-time highs. Go past, but get two. 15 to 20%. If it goes below here, it will have given up its whole bull run. So why would the next wave of retail... So, okay, think of it this way. How many people in crypto are left right now? Not a lot. How many people within that small group are about HBAR? Okay, some, but it's still a minority within a minority, right? In order for this to break all time highs, you need the new wave of retail to know about this coin because YouTubers talk about it. Pretty much how crypto works, unfortunately, right now. Coin will not bump unless YouTubers talk about it, with very few exceptions. Large, large accounts. And those large accounts buy it before they talk about it. And there's, they have limit sales for you to to take. Like they're selling it to you, um, largely. Not all, I'm not claiming that up for everybody, but that is what is happening. Um, so in that, with that all said, this will be required in order to get up here again. It has to get traction from the next wave of retail. Without it, the current group of people, as we just defined, it, that is not enough money to get it up there. So if the new wave of retail comes back, even though they're all clueless and noobs, right? But the YouTubers who will then convince the the new wave of retail to buy it after a 2,000% move up, which is how it always works. Gosh. Oh my God. This almost makes me sick to my stomach. But... um. Why would YouTubers talk about it and lead the large accounts, their followers, to buy it if it gave up this whole bull run? It's going to be less likely to happen. So if it gets stuck under there, or even, you know, it's going to hit it. But if it doesn't aggressively get out of there, aggressively, which is possible, if it does not aggressively get out of here, which it could go a little lower, then aggressively come back up. But if it does not aggressively get back to this level right here, after hitting or dipping below here, it's not going to hit all-time high. Or, more safely said, it that greatly reduces the chance of it never hitting all-time highs again. And it greatly reduces the chances that this will be a strong candidate of the 15 to 20% of cryptos that will touch their previous all-time high. And this effect is, happens because the new of retail, they don't care about altcoins that they don't know about. They're, you know, a Comey. Oh, oh man, Burnonomics. It was new. Everybody wanted the new stuff. The same thing's going to happen. So you can't go give up your whole bull run and be a strong candidate to attract 
the people who want the new, who are all distracted about the new stuff, you know, like DeFi and oracles and, and Web3. None of that were words in 2017. None of it. Not one. Not a single one. It was all smart contracts, smart contracts, smart contracts. And there was only one big thing, smart contracts, Ethereum killer. At least this bull run, there were four catch, four flavors of them. Four and a half. Metaverse was like a, it was like the firecracker that just goes, it wasn't a real one. It was too late. Oracles, DeFi, Web3, NFTs. Those were the four catchphrases. So next bull run, those aren't going to be the catchphrases. Plus 2021. Did you hear much about YouTubers talking about smart contracts and smart contracts? No, you didn't. So why are you going to hear about, you know, Web3 and Oracles and DeFi? You're not. You're not. And if you do and price starts going up, guess what? That's a rally in a bear market that's not going to last. And it's going to crash down and maybe form a higher low on Bitcoin. And then the next time it all goes up, not going to hear it. That'll be the new stuff, right? What that has to do with HBAR, it's just that's the context around this and the importance of this in order for it to perform well next bull run. Just because something is a great project and it deserves to have the recognition, you know, or whatever, your chest pounding reasons, without what I'm saying, you can chest pound all you want. It's not going to happen. New wave of retail needs to be led like sheep to buy this. That's it.